Hello everyone, Andrew Wall here, host and executive producer at Alluvium, and we're so excited to bring you the Alluvium Zero Alpha for all of our patient land owners. If you're not already familiar with Alluvium Zero, it's an industrial building game, a city builder, if you will, in the Alluvium universe, where you can collect elements and fuel and blueprints all on Alluvium land. And this alpha is available on Android, PC, and Mac. In this tutorial video, I'm gonna go over essential gameplay features and mechanics, as well as some concepts you'll need to know as you dive into the alpha. And of course, if you haven't already, go to the link in the description below, play.alluvium.io slash zero, if you wanna learn more information. To gain access to the Alluvium Zero Alpha, you'll need to own at least one plot of land. These can be purchased through the Alluvidex. Just please note, me showing you the Alluvidex in this tutorial video is not financial advice. You'll see the land button here on the official market exchange. Click that, and then if you'd like, you can explore plots. You can sort by region, by tier, and different attributes of the land if you want to take a look around and see what's available out there. Please note that the free-to-play land plots will not be available during the alpha testing phase though they will be accessible once the game launches in open beta. Those free-to-play plots are not connected to the blockchain, and you will not be able to transfer anything from them to other games. Once you own a plot of Alluvium land, you'll need to ensure that your account is created and set up properly to play the alpha. This is the official play section of our website. You'll see Alluvium Zero there, and you'll see a login to play and connect account buttons here on this page. Once you click those, you can either log in if you already have an account, or if you don't, click create an account. I'll spare you the boredom of going through every single step here, but you'll need to create an account, link your wallet that has the land in it. Via MetaMask, you'll connect and sign access using the IMX pop-up. At the end of this process, you'll see wallet successfully linked. This account you created here will be the account you use to log in to the Alluvium Zero Alpha client. After you log into Alluvium Zero and select your land plot, your land NFT will now be connected to the game. And the region look, and the fuel, and the elements, and the landmarks, the unique attributes of your land will be represented here. At the top of the screen, you can view your elements, including carbon, silicon, and hydrogen at a glance. You'll also see fuel at the top, including Krypton, Hyperion, and Solon. You'll also see your credit count, I'll explain that later in the top right-hand corner, and your builders. All of this information is available at a glance. You can better navigate your land by clicking the Show button in the bottom right-hand corner. This will allow you to filter by stage which will at a glance show you the stage all of your structures are at. So this structure, for example, here, see the little up arrow icon? That means that this is a stage one structure that can be upgraded. You can also filter by efficiency. I'll explain this mechanic later, but the higher the number, the better in terms of efficiency. And lastly, you can sort by resource. This will show you each icon for each of those elements and fuel types I went over earlier at a glance, so you can see whether they're grouped together properly to maximize efficiency or not. There are a series of goals that you can achieve in Alluvium Zero Alpha. In the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see your Goals tab. I'll click it, and I've got a ton of goals unclaimed, so I'll click the Claim tab, and it'll show all the goals that I completed. Just click Claim, and you can gain your reward. In the Activity menu, in the bottom left-hand corner, you can, at a glance, see all of the construction projects on your land, production, and science. And if the option is available, you can speed up a particular building that's being constructed in this example. I'll click Speed Up, and it will consume a credit, and boom, that construction task is now complete. Remember when I showed Stage earlier in order to see which buildings can be upgraded at a glance? Well, here's that same building we talked about earlier. Click on it, and then click Upgrade. It'll show you the requirements and how long it'll take to upgrade, and simply press Upgrade. 
and the upgrade will begin. In Alluvium Zero, you can move structures around freely. In this example, I'll click the Hydrogen Matter Silo 7, Move. As you can see, there's no cost to move it wherever I'd like, but if I can't place it in a particular location, it will turn red or partially red, and if I can move it to a new location, it'll be entirely green. Once I've selected the structure's new home, just click Build. You can sell structures and get some resources back as well. There is a bit of a loss here in the alpha when you do so. I'll select that same Hydrogen Matter Silo 7, I'll click Sell, and as you can see, it'll tell you how many resources you can get back from selling that structure. Click Yes, and the selling will be underway. I've switched regions so I can demo how to clear plants if you choose. Let's say I wanted to remove this plant right here. Simply click the plant, click Clear, and the clearing will be underway. Once the timer above the plant is complete, you can then click the button above the plant and the plant will be removed. This will clear the way for you to begin expanding your industrial complex here in Alluvium Zero. To build on a resource site on your land, and your land will have different resource sites than mine, depending on its unique attributes, simply click on that resource site, in my case it's a Solon Trench, and then click Build. The appropriate extractor should pop up on the screen, and click Build if you have the resources and the requirements fulfilled, and construction will begin. As you begin playing Alluvium Zero, the first structure you'll make is your Nexus. To find all of your structure options, go to the bottom right hand corner and click that Build tab. Then go to Structure. Let's go over the structure types. Basics, these structures provide essential infrastructure to your industrial complex. Extractors, extract resources such as elements and fuel from the sites on your land. Converters, help you gain more resources and convert elements into other element types and fuel into other fuel types. Storage is self-explanatory, and they're needed to be built and upgraded as you expand your industrial complex. Science structures allow you to acquire biodata and blueprints, and then there's an others category that have unique functionality. For example, the holographic statue allows you to display a 3D hologram of a scanned alluvial biodata, and Marketplace, which is not fully functional in the alpha, will create an uplink to the Marketplace, allowing you to sell resources. A top objective in Alluvium Zero is to acquire fuel and blueprints as efficiently as possible to meet whatever your own personal goals are. So for example, in Alluvium Overworld, the Krypton that is acquired here on land is used to travel to different regions in the overworld. The Solon that you can acquire here in land on Alluvium Zero is used to craft weapons, armor, and other upgrades in the Alluvium overworld. And Hyperion is used to cure shards and capture alluvials in the overworld. This is what we're talking about when we say interoperable blockchain games. The fuel acquired here in Alluvium Zero, the video game, is used in Alluvium Overworld, one of our other video games. Not to mention, here within Alluvium Zero itself, Hyperion, Solon, and Krypton are commonly used in high-level buildings. These fuel types may be required in order to build or upgrade certain structures, so keep that in mind. Let's talk briefly about blueprints. Using a singularity scanner, that's a science structure, Landowners can scan for alluvials that produce biodata, so you can click the Scan button here and Start Activity to begin that process. Then, if you acquire that biodata, it's researched in the Materials lab. Here, you can click the Research tab, and you can click whichever biodata you'd like to research. In this case, I'll click the only one I have. Click Research, and then the research begins. What's really cool here is, through this process, you can go into facts, and your biodata research occurs, you could get a fact, and also you could get a blueprint, the ultimate coveted prize of these science facilities. These blueprints can be minted as an NFT and then sold on the Alluvidex for ETH, or used to craft new cosmetic items. This is not financial advice, just telling you how this video game works and how it's interoperable with our other games and how it interacts with our marketplace, the Alluvidex. I've switched to another region to talk about the credit system in Alluvium Zero. It's a premium currency that can be used to perform special actions 
that yield significant quality of life benefits. As you can see, my credit number up here in the top right is gigantic because I'm using a developer build right now. When you click Show, as mentioned earlier, and Stage, just as an example, you can, at a glance, see which buildings can be upgraded. I'll click this random building, the L Krypton Collider 3, and click Upgrade. Notice how it's going to take eight hours to upgrade this structure. Perhaps I don't want to wait that long. I'll click Upgrade, and it begins. I can either speed up this upgrade by clicking right here and selecting OK to speed up the progress of this construction, or I can click the Activity tab, and that same construction project will be listed right here. If you want to speed up the construction using a credit cost, then you can just click Speed Up and click OK, and it's done. Notice how the upgrade is now complete. Sorry to keep switching regions on you, just want to show you a method to gain credits during the alpha. But in the launch version of Alluvium Zero, you'll be able to acquire these sweet, sweet credits by purchasing them. How do you get them in the alpha? One way is to clear a plant. Click a plant that's on your land, click clear. Boom, it'll give you a reward once it's complete of credits that you can use for speed ups later if you choose, or you can save those credits for a rainy day. We'll wait for this one to complete so I can show you the process. There it is, it's complete. I'll click and notice how the little credit popped up. Boom, one credit in the bank. Here we are in another beautiful region to talk about elements. Elements are the main building blocks of each structure in the game, and they're consumed in the creation and represent a material cost rather than an energy cost. If you have sites for these particular elements, you'll be able to easily identify them as mentioned earlier by clicking show and sorting by resource, and you'll see their icons pop up on the screen. This resource site right here, this lake, has yet to have an extractor on it. So I'll click build and put a hydrogen pump right on top. Boom, now I can start extracting that element on my land. Let's talk about a few advanced systems in Alluvium Zero. We don't wanna tell you too much right now because we want alpha testers to try all these systems out and to give us feedback, of course. The first advanced system is efficiency. By clicking show in the bottom right-hand corner and then clicking efficiency, you'll see an efficiency number across all of your different buildings. More than 100% is better and less than 100% is worse. So as you can see, this singularity scanner here with 25% is not running efficiently. Whereas this structure right here is running more efficiently at 162%. How can you see how different efficiencies affect each other? Well, let's just move this power station as an example and you'll see it impact the efficiency of structures around it. As you move this power station, notice how it increases or decreases the efficiency of other structures depending on its proximity to those structures. We encourage you to experiment with the efficiency system. Experiment with which structures and which strategies increase or decrease efficiency so you can make your own creative strategies. Another advanced system in Alluvium Zero is the path system which affects build and upgrade time. Let me show you an example. Remember earlier when I told you to click Show and Stage if you want to see the structures that are available for an upgrade? Here we go. Here's a structure, Hyperion Containment Unit 3. It's ready for an upgrade, as you can see from the up arrow. Now, click Upgrade and you can see the amount of time it will take, 4 hours. However, with the path system, this can be improved. So, go to Build here in the bottom right hand corner, click Path, and then you can build a path around this particular structure. This is cost-free, by the way. You can also remove the paths cost-free as you see fit. But if we build a path all the way around the structure in this example, then click Save. Once we go back to that building and click Upgrade, notice how the upgrade time has significantly improved. Just some closing thoughts for the Alluvium Zero Alpha testers out there that are watching. We do want your feedback on game balance. Give it to us, be honest. Also, please report every single bug that you find. We want to polish Alluvium Zero to become the game that we all want it to become. And of course, we want to know about your user experience and what the flow is like as you're learning about Alluvium Zero and experiencing it. Share that feedback with us. And most importantly, we just want to say thank you on the behalf of the entire Alluvium team. Thank you for all of your support and thank you for investing your time and your energy 
into testing Alluvium Zero and helping us make this game the best it can possibly be. Adios.